Okay, so let's see if you have the algebra skills to answer this question. All right, now the question is, we're gonna take the square root of x squared over four plus four x squared over nine. Now this is a multiple choice question and let's gonna take a look at our uh, answers here. So A is x over two plus two x over three. B is x times the square root of five over 36 and C is 5x over 6. All right, now, if you could figure this out, we'll go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. And even if you don't know what to do here, just go ahead and take a guess. You certainly have a 1 out of 3 chance to getting the right answer. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this question again. So let me erase all of this stuff, and uh, one of these is the right answer. So we're trying to simplify this down into something, obviously, that looks like one of these things. So the square root of x squared over 4 plus 4x squared over 9. When we take the square root of this, which one of uh, these answers represents the simplified version of this expression? Well, let's go to take a look at that answer right now. That is C, 5x over 6. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for your knowledge of working with square roots. Now, uh, this particular problem, a lot of uh, people or a lot of students are going to make a mistake because they're going to confuse this situation. We have an addition situation. They're going to confuse it for a multiplication situation. You'll see what I'm talking about right now. All right, now before I explain that, let's just take a look at the problem. So here we have the problem, and here we have our choices. Now, you have to be very careful with math multiple choice questions because uh, the options here, obviously one of these is correct. Matter of fact, C is correct. But the other options are designed to reflect very common mistakes and misunderstandings about the problem. So oftentimes what students will do, they'll be like, all right, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to go through this math test. Uh, I know I have one hour, but I'm going to do it in 10 minutes because I got to get to my cell phone and I got to get to my text messages. And, uh, you know, I could just do this real quick. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I see my answer. There it is. And then they think they get like an A or they ace the test. And then when they uh, <laughs> get your actual results, it comes back. You only pass with like a C minus. Now, I'm pretty sure all of you can relate to that. Now, why is that? So the reason why that is, is on multiple choice exams again. Uh, these options are going to be the result of things that uh, students you know, are pretty, uh, you know, uh, common, are very common in terms of the wrong approach. So let me explain what I'm talking about here. So here, this particular choice, x over 2 plus 2x over 3, that looks like that could have maybe been the result of taking the square root of both of these things, right? So if we take the square root of x squared over 4, well, that could be like x over 2. So there's my x over 2. And if I take the square root of 4x squared, well, that could be like 2x, right? So there's my 2x, and then the square root of 9 is 3. So this looks pretty good. If I'm like, yeah, this looks pretty good, and, you know, the numbers seem to drive here, so I'm going to select that. Well, of course, that is wrong. And um, the reason why I bring this up is because you have to be very careful on multiple choice exams, multiple choice questions, all right? So just because you're confident that you see your answer, that doesn't mean that necessarily you got this thing right. So the only approach really to getting this thing correct is to know the math. That means you need to know something about square roots. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. And what we need to do is consider what we have to do here, okay? Well, what can we do? Well, we have a fraction plus another fraction. Now, there are properties of square roots. Now, I'm going to uh, kind of show you a few. So a times b is equal to something. Uh, the square root of a over b is equal to something else. 
So these are things that you study like, let's say, uh, pretty much like in algebra courses, you'll learn these basic properties. But there is not a property of the square root of a plus b. Okay, there is not a property. So the square root of a times b, well, let me go ahead and write this over here. The square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. Okay, and the square root of a over b is the square root of a over the square root of b. And we don't have any uh, property for the square root of the sum of two things. Okay, but a lot of students are going to confuse this situation for precisely this right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. All right, so if this was the problem, if we were multiplying instead of um, adding, okay, we're not, um, our problem is addition, but if this was a multiplication problem, then we could break these uh, individual fractions up. So this would be the square root of 4 over 25 times the square root of 9 over 100. Of course, we can break these up into individual square roots as well, right? So that would be the square root of 9 over the square root of 100, and this would be the square root of 4 over the square root of 25. But the problem here is that we don't have multiplication. We have addition. So what do we need to do? Well, we don't have too many options here. What we're going to have to do is add these fractions or rational expressions. All right, now... This is not that difficult because take a look at our denominators here, 4 and 9. And uh, let me give you an example problem. If this intimidates you, if you can do this problem, 1 fourth plus uh, 2 over 9, 2 ninths, well, then you can do this problem as well. Okay, so what do we have to do here? Well, you can't add or subtract fractions unless the denominators are the same, i.e., uh, they are the lowest common denominator. So we're going to have to find the LCD between 4 and 9. So we're talking about basic fraction stuff here. And hopefully, you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, the LCD here is 36, and you would be correct. All right, so we're going to have to change uh, both of these fractions here, our rational expressions, uh, such that the denominator is 36. All right, how do we do that? Well, to uh, change a 4 into a 36, I multiply this by 9, and I have to multiply the numerator by 9 as well. We're talking basic fraction skills here. To change a 9 into a 36, we have to multiply that by 4, which means I have to multiply the numerator by 4 as well. All right, so we're going to end up with 9x squared over 36 plus 16x squared over 36. All right, so here is what we have. This is our problem. Now, we have 9x squared over 36 plus 16x squared over 36. Now that we have common denominators, we can simply add the numerator and put that over the denominator. Okay, so 9x squared plus 16x squared is 25x squared, right? These are like terms, x squares. So all I have to do is add the coefficient. 9 and 16 is 25. All right, so we have 25x squared over 36. So we are almost there. So let's go to take the next step, which, of course, is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, you know, a lot of you are saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, every single video you do the same thing. You have this long intro, and then you're always asking, well, listen, you know, when you, <laughs> when you put out as much content as I do, I have to get continued support. You know, I've been on YouTube for well over 10 plus years. I have over 10 plus years. I have well over 3,000, well, pretty close to 3,000 videos. I produce so much content, I kind of lose track. But here is the deal, okay? There's always something to teach. And I focus on basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. And really, my mission is to try to make math, you know, easy to understand, okay? Try to take something complex and break it down into component parts. But really, my biggest, biggest vision or biggest passion, if you will, is to um, really change the confidence that people have about their own math skills. Because this is pretty much what I have seen throughout the decades. I'm bad at math. I'm not good at math. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm not going to become an engineer uh, because I'm just bad at math. Uh, you know, I'll go into this other, you know, career field. I see this all the time. And I'm like, hey, listen, it's okay. Choose whatever you want to do. But, you know, don't you know, go, don't, uh, don't do something because you're afraid of the math. That's what I'm trying to say. This is what I'm trying to do on my YouTube channel to reach people, to give them confidence in their ability to learn math. So I need your support. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell as well. Thanks for giving me a little bit of time to kind of, you know, ramble a bit about what, you know, what I do, but it is important. Okay. This is the whole purpose of this channel. 
All right, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem now. So here we have the square root of x squared over 4 plus 4x squared over 9. So we realize that, yes, indeed, this is not multiplication. This is addition, so there is no property. So we had to add these up. And uh, here is what we got. We got 25x squared over 36. But now we, uh, we're going to go ahead and take the square root of this lovely single fraction right here. And this is going to work out super nicely. So the square root of 25x squared, remember, we can take the square root of uh, the respective numerator and denominator. So this would be the, uh, the square root of 25x squared, which is 5x. 5x times 5x gets us back to 25x squared. And then the uh, denominator, or the numerator, excuse me, is 25x squared. The denominator is a square root of 36, which is 6. All right, so hopefully you found this video interesting, and more importantly, you learned something. Now, the key to learning math is to stick with it, all right? Now, if you think that myself or other people who are super good in math, and I wouldn't classify myself as super, super good in math. I've just been doing this a long, long time. I'm pretty strong in math, indeed. And, you know, you're only going to get better at something if you stick with it and practice, 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 and never give up. And I want to kind of uh, leave or end this video on that note. If you're struggling in math, Get the help that you need. If you need, uh, you know, um, more help beyond a video like this, check out my full main math courses. You'll find links to those in the description of this video. But don't give up. If you stick with it, a lot of this stuff will start making sense. But if you give up, then, of course, obviously, you're never going to truly understand this stuff. All right. With that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.